system one today. Obviously, we had the technical issues, so I'll just summarize the beginning part again. Again, essentially, square roots have two different roots, positive and negative, because they're even. 4 squared and negative 4 squared both root into, result in 16. However, when you evaluate a radical, you just put the positive. So evaluating the radical of 16 is just 4. Okay? Remember, these non-perfects right here, 17, root 17, they can't be broken down at all. Okay? So root 17 is just the exact value. Just leave it like that unless it says for a decimal. Cubes, any odd, negatives are okay now because it has one left off. So if it hits it again, it's going to be negative. So let me ex explain this just one more time. The reason that root negative 27 is negative 3 because the cube root of negative 27, if I do negative 3 three times, I get negative 27. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, times negative 3 is back to negative 27. So that's the pattern of the cubes of why you're going to have a negative end up. Okay? Okay, again, cube root 49, we can't break that down, so it stays as is. These ones, you already saw these filled out. Fourth root of 16 are 2 and negative 2. The fourth root is 2. The fifth root of negative 32 is negative 2. Why does the fifth root only have one root? Why is it only 1 instead of 2? it's odd, correct, because it's odd, good. Okay, so I'm clicking. Okay, all right, these examples, these you already got down. All right, so let's finish these off here. So guys, just go ahead, somebody tell me 64 was what? Okay, eight, negative 64, not possible. Okay, cube root negative 64. All right, that's your negative four. Now, Fifth root of 1 over 32. How do you fifth root fractions? Or how do you root any fraction? You root the top and the bottom the same. So you fifth root 1. Well, fifth root of 1 is 1, so it stays 1. Fifth root of 32, we just did previously, that's just 2. So it's 1 half. Okay? Same thing when you square, right? If you square a fraction, you square a top and bottom. Okay? Can't do. Even to the negative. And this one, we want to. Fifth root, or cube root, sorry, cube root of 125, because we talked about this one already, is 5. A lot of people get confused what to do there. That operation is multiplication. So you now have 10 times 5. So 50 is the solution here. Okay, questions? All right, so we sped through that because we already talked about it. Now we'll slow down a little bit and try to get through the lesson here. Okay, so this is just to make sure, if you have your calculator, cool. I'm going to kind of skip this just because I want to get through your lesson today. It's just showing how to use the X feature in your calculator. If you go to math and choose number five, it's the root X. How you do that is you put the number that you want to take the radical of first. So if I want a fifth root, you type five. Then you go find the math root X button, okay? And then you fifth root that number. In this case, they're showing you how to fourth root 10,000, okay? So you can just do that for yourself and try these three here. Okay, so on this one, you're going to go five. In your calculator, you're gonna find the root X button, and then you're gonna do 243. Then you're gonna go seven, root X button. Okay, what's this one? Three, good. And this one, mm -hmm. this one helps put brackets. There is a cube root on yours. You don't have to use the X one, but you can if you want. Just like that. Okay, so just go ahead and give me some answers, guys. Just let you guys popcorn it. Just answer out, and then same thing. Just put those other ones in your calculator and give me the decimals. Okay, what'd you say for this one? Negative four. Four grows pretty fast, huh? Five over six. Good. Okay, what's the fifth root of 500? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Negative four. Yeah. Sorry. It's down to here. It's all good. Just calculator practice. 3.4, 3.5, which is it? 3.5. 
Okay, 3.5 says round the nearest hundreds, though. What's the hundred? Let's pay attention to the instructions. 3.47. Sixth root of 0 0.6. 0.91, so point, point 0.92. Good. Okay, two fifths times the fourth root of 100. What do we got for that one? Six. Okay. All right. So now we're going to talk into the structure of radicals and what you call different things, kind of more of a vocab approach, okay? Um, this would be a good time if you have questions, write them down or to ask. Because these are kind of like when I say radican, you're like, what's a radican? But that's what we're going to learn right now that you should know, okay? All right. So, radicals. Radicals in general are numbers like these. Root 30, cube root 125, fourth root 15, sixth root 1 million. Those are all, all just radicals of how you label those. But what are they separately? So separately, when you talk about the radical in terms of labeling, you have the index, which is the number which you're rooting. Remember, if nothing's there, it's assumed to be a 2. Okay. The number inside is called your radicand. Okay. So that'd be index 3, radicand 29, it's cube root 29. The whole thing of that is just called a radical. Okay? Um, the number in front could be called a coefficient if you want. Okay? And we covered all the stuff that's on there for bolded. So radicand, index, radical sign, and then we know that it's not, if nothing's there, it's a 2. Okay, moving on. Combining radicals, just some kind of quick things I'm going to go through, just kind of prove some of the operations we're going to get to in the next couple lessons. Root 9 times root 4. Well, what is, what's the square root of 9? 3. What's the square root of 4? 3 times 2 is 6, right? 9 times 4 is 36. What's the square root of 36? This one's good. That's true. Root 9 times root 4 is the same as root 9 times 4. Okay. Now let's try division. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 4 is 2, so that's 3 halves. 9 times 4, or 9 divided by 4, square rooted, it's the same thing because you're going to do, when you square root, right, we do top and bottom, right? So it's just going to be 3 over 2. So both of those check out. Those are true, and you are able to do that with division and multiplication. The flip side, look at addition and subtraction. It's a problem. You can't do that. Root 9 plus root 4 is not root 13. Well, we know that. Root 9 plus root 4, we know root 9 plus root 4 is what? It's 5. Is square root of 13 5? No. Okay, it doesn't work. So addition and subtraction is not commutative in that way. Multiplication division is okay. Subtraction, you can see 3 minus 2 is 1. Root 5 is not 1. 9 minus 4, root 5 is not 1. This is just summarizing what we just found. And we'll do a quick little, is this true or false? Okay, Gabby, is that true or false? Root 3 times root 5 equals root 15. Is that true or false? True, correct. So that is true. Abby, root 30 divided by root 10. True or false? True, right? We can divide. Okay, and Alan, 16, root 16 plus 9 equals root 16 plus root 9. That's all right. Can we do it with addition? Right, you can't do it with addition. Okay, all right. We good? All right. So entire versus mixed, and then we'll be done here. So use a calculator to approximate the value of each radical to five decimal places. So you guys go punch these in. Give me some decimals here. I don't have those memorized. Okay, what well, do you notice about the answers? And then we're going to talk about mixed versus entire. So what is root 96? 
9.7979. All right. Two root 24. Same. And four root six is going to be probably the same. Okay. So what you see is, is that this is we'll call it an entire radical. The whole thing's under the radical, entire. This is almost simplified, all the way simplified, mixed. So what it is is entire, mixed, mixed, this being the simplest. So you're just putting same here. So complete the following to explain why the three radicals are equivalent. Well, root 4, root 24. root 16, root 6, okay, 2 root 24, 4 root 6. So you can just see they're just different simplifications. I already stated, root 96 is the entire radical, 2 root 24 and 4 root 6 are mixed. So you can see what makes them mixed, there's a number on the outside, okay, entire and all inside. And now we're going to get good at going between those two. Okay. Entire pure, we have that. Mixed. Converting entire radicals to mixed radicals. All this means is we're breaking down the radical. We're breaking down the radical. Okay, don't get lost in the words. We're taking the entire, going to mixed. We're simplifying. Okay. So, let's practice that. Here's 72. We actually did that, huh? It's a weird thing. I always put up examples that I know are coming. So, root 72, we told you it was 36 earlier. 36. We know it's 6. So, root 72 to mixed, the mix of that is 6 root 2. How can you check your answer on these to make sure you're right? You could do that. What else could you do? Did we change value at all? When you're simplifying a fraction, are you changing the value? If I say 4 over 6 equals 2 over 3, am I changing the value? No, I'm simplifying. Keyword simplify, right? If I put this in my calculator and I put this in my calculator, they better match up. If they're different, you didn't simplify correctly. You should have the same value. Okay? All right, so then we got a cube root one now. So we're going cube root from entire to mixed. Okay. If you're feeling overwhelmed, today's a fast day. Okay, I won't always speed you through like this, so but slow me down if you have questions. Don't let me run you over. Okay, 108, breaking it down. 27, good. 27 times 4. If you like 27, that's a perfect cube. Cube root 27 is 3. So cube of 108 to mixed is cube 3 cube root 4. Okay, go ahead and try those uh, examples there. 